Hi guys, so it is Monday morning. I am getting my lunch all packed to take to work. I am gonna be doing intermittent fasting this week, but I'm gonna cut it down to 14 hours. I have been having some issues with the 16 hours, so I don't wanna push it too much. So I am bringing some fat-free half and half to have with some coffee when I break my fast at 10 o'clock. And I do have yogurt already in my refrigerator at work, and I have some strawberries here. So I'm just gonna have strawberries and yogurt when I break my fast and then some coffee. So these are just some fresh strawberries that I have all cut up. And then for lunch, I'm gonna be having one of my meal preps. So my meal prep video did go up on Sunday. I will always have a link for it down below in the description box, so check that out. So I made a Thai salad. Technically, this is a one points plus because of the edamame, but I don't have a lot of edamame in here, but I'm just gonna go with it and count the one points plus. It would be zero smart points um, because zero, edamame is zero on um, freestyle. And then as far as the rest of it, I have my chicken here. So I have three points plus worth of chicken, zero smart points worth of chicken. Peanut sauce is one on either plan. And then I do have some slivered almonds. I grabbed these at the last minute, so I don't know how many points they are, but I will have the total points for my lunch here on the screen. Um, I have two tablespoons of the slivered almonds, so I'm not sure how many points that will be, but like I said, it'll all be here on the screen for my lunch. And then, like I said, I'll have my strawberries, and then I also have my vegetables here with some Skinny Kitchen Ranch. So the Skinny Kitchen Ranch is one point on either plan, and then the vegetables are all zero. So I have two of the mini sweet peppers, I have some English cucumber, and some baby cut carrots. So this will be everything that I am starting my Monday with. You guys, today is one of those days where like, I should not even be on the road because there are so many crazy people out there. I hate where our office is located now because you have to like, if an, oh, it is so crazy. You have to go through so much traffic and it's like downtown traffic and we're like, you know, where like the, the city offices are and the county offices are and it, it's just like so crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't even tell you how many times I got ran over like on my way to the store on the way back. Um, I am drinking an energy drink right now. I um, am telling you that. And then I'm going to tell you that this weekend I was so terrible at drinking my water. Um, but I've done really good today. I've already drank three 24 ounce things of water. So I'm rewarding myself with an energy drink. I woke up today like completely like bloated feeling. And I know it's because I did not drink any water this weekend. I don't know what it was. I was so busy running around doing things that... I just, it was just like not on my mind when I was, I mean, running around the house doing things and I had to go to town a few times and both times I forgot my water and we went out to dinner this weekend and I just drank a bunch of diet soda at dinner instead of water. It was just one of those weekends I definitely feel this morning and it was so hard for me not to like get on the scale this morning because whenever I feel like this, this is, that's what I want to do is get on the scale because getting on the scale will you know, tell me how bad I was or it would tell me like, oh, it's okay. And then maybe I may not continue on and do what I need to do the right thing. You know, the scale just messes with me. And especially like today, I really wanted to get on it, but I didn't, I was good. Cause I'm doing no way may. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm doing no way may. So I did forget to measure the, you though. I number, I wanted to do measurements and I completely forgot to do measurements. So that's a bummer. I kind of feel like it's just not like there's no reason to do it right now because it's already a week into the month, but I don't know. Um, also, I discovered a couple new podcasts. I am definitely going to do a favorites. I did not do one in April. It's, those ones are really hard for me to film because the only time I can film them is on the weekends. I can't do them during the week. It's just I have, you know, I already get up at 430 just so I can do other filming and editing and also my workouts. So then after I get home from work, I am making dinner, I'm getting laundry done, you know, I'm just doing like nightly routine stuff. And I have to try to be in bed by 9, 9.30 because I have to get up at 4.30, you know? So my days are so short during the week and I don't get home until like after five and I leave the house by seven. And so it's just, you know, there's just wait, not enough time during the week. So I have to do it on the weekends, but I have, you know, Saturday, I do my grocery shopping. I do, you know, just a little bit of housework and Sunday and then try to spend time with my family. And then Sunday, I pretty much meal prepping in the morning, editing vid videos because I've tried to do my filming on Saturday. So I edit videos on Sunday. Any videos that I do happen to make through the week, like recipe videos, those kind of things that I can do while I'm making dinner, 
I edit on Sundays. And so Sunday's pretty much just a YouTube work day. And that's just what I do. Like I said, I just do all my editing, making my thumbnails, trying to do my social media posts. It's just crazy. So favorites videos take a long time and they take a lot of editing and I never can get them done. But May and June and July and August, are gonna be really good YouTube working months for me because May I have two vacation days that I'm taking on Fridays and one of them is gonna be right before Memorial Day weekend so I'll have a four day week so I can get a lot of filming done that week and that'll be probably the weekend that I do my favorites video. And then June, I have all Fridays off except for one Friday at the end of the month because it's like the end of our year. Our year goes from July to June since we follow a fiscal year. And so I don't wanna take the last day of our basically the last day of our year off just in case there's anything I need to get done um so I have but I have all three day weekends all through the rest of June so that means an extra day for filming and editing and things like that and then July and I have all the Fridays off in July and then August I have almost every Friday off in August so it's going to be really good filming days because what I technically try to what I try to do is on Fridays I do all my grocery shopping and then Saturdays I can spend that day doing what I normally you know doing some YouTube stuff and I can also do extra filming on Fridays because nobody will be home and and all that so anyway that was like four minutes of babbling about that kind of stuff um, but other than that, I had a good weekend. I tracked everything. I did use some weeklies because we did go out to dinner, but I feel good about that. So I don't know. I'm sure it's just because I didn't drink enough water. It's on my feet a ton. My back is feeling it. If you guys know, I have, I mean, I think I've, I know I've told you guys, so if you guys have been around for a while, I should say, I have problems with my sciatica nerve in my right side and it ha makes me have trouble sleeping. And if I don't get up and move around, it's like I have to have this happy medium. It's like I have to move around a lot to keep it from seizing up on me and hurting me. And, but if I sit down for too long, it hurts. So it's like, if I walk too long, it hurts. So I had to kind of have this balance. So I was trying to do a lot this weekend on my feet. Also worked out this morning. I'm doing a four week program through Daily Burn and it's the 20 minute program. There's a pretty good mixture of intensity in there. Today's was, I'm not doing it in order like it shows me. I'm just gonna do the full schedule. So I have to work out Monday through Saturday this week. I have a rest day on Sunday. And then the next week is like Monday through Friday. And then you have a Saturday, Sunday rest day, which will be nice. Um, but I'm doing exactly, and it's only 20 minutes. And even if I can't do some of the moves, I'm just going to modify them instead of replacing the video because I really want to do the program like it says, and I really want to see if I get any good results. So I'll let you guys know how all that goes. Um, videos this week, you're going to have a video every day this week because I'm going to post this video on Wednesday, and then I'm going to do another what day video on Tuesday that I'll post on Thursday. And the reason why is because I want to film... Oh, it's going really dark. I think it's my... I think the sun is really bright so my phone's going kind of dark um i want to film my dinners from tonight tonight's dinner and tomorrow night's dinner but i'm just going to put them in my what i eat video instead of doing a separate video like i planned on doing i it just it'll just be easier for me with editing and all that so recipe video going up tomorrow another recipe video going up friday so you guys have lots of good stuff coming um, so anyway, the next clip is going to be me making a dinner. So you will see that and I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. So for dinner tonight, I'm making Asian lettuce wraps. So in a skillet here, I am putting in one tablespoon of sesame oil. This is completely optional. It's for the taste. It's more than it is for the oil properties because sesame oil has a really nice taste in Asian foods. So I'm putting that in there and then I'm going to add in about half of a cup of really finely diced mushrooms. And I'm just gonna cook those up until they are nice and golden brown. I'm adding in a little bit of salt just to add some flavor. Next up, I'm gonna add in some 93.7 ground turkey. Also ground chicken is really good with this recipe. This is the first time I've had it with ground turkey. Um, so I'm just using that ground turkey. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and brown it all up. While my turkey is browning, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the sauce. So the original recipe calls for two tablespoons of hoisin sauce and two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. Instead, I am using four tablespoons of the island soyaki from Trader Joe's. 
And then I'm also adding in one tablespoon of coconut aminos from Trader Joe's. And then I'm doing some minced ginger, so about a teaspoon of minced ginger, or you can use ground ginger, ginger either one. And I'm also using one tablespoon of sriracha. And then one tablespoon of, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of cornstarch. And this is just to thicken it up. And then I'm just gonna give that a good shake and get it, this is really easy to make in a little mason jar like this, so you can shake it up real good and get that cornstarch all mixed up. And then I almost forgot to add in the rice vinegar. You need one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, vinegar as well. And then once your ground turkey or ground chicken, whatever you're using is all nice and cooked up, then you're gonna add the sauce in and just mix it around and let it simmer for about five minutes or so just until it's nice and thick and it's all ready to go. This is such an easy, simple recipe. This would also, I'm serving this on lettuce wraps, but this would also be really good on just on top of some cauliflower rice or on some regular rice. Now I did pair it with some cauliflower rice that I put some lime and cilantro in and I just topped the lettuce wraps with some green onions and cilantro. I will have the original recipe linked down below so you can go check it out. I, there's a light inside your eyes, you make me feel like I'm awake.